Dominic, go ahead and come back in, calm. And with a with a treat if needed. With and just slowly, with a treat if you need it. See if you can get him to step up without biting. I'm gonna give you just a series of different things here that you can work with. And everybody here is just gonna be super calm and chill and, and see if you guys feel or notice the difference. Step up. Step up. Okay, so going back up. Okay. So we didn't get it yet. It's what you experience the bird on, right? Mm -hmm. Bird's not stepping up on him because he loves him, right? So, and what I would say is there's reinforcement from this behavior that's happening, and there's that heightened state that's getting reinforced through all of us having fun with it. So there's a lot of things that are setting Dom up for failure. And so there's a lot of different ways to, to get out of the situation. So the next step that I'm going to attempt is we mentioned training in a neutral space. This bird seems to really like attention. Okay, so I'm going to try to add a little bit of what we refer to as pressure. Okay, something he doesn't want means technically plus punishment, right? I'm adding something to decrease behavior. So by me, Pushing the perch out of uh, a little out of the situation, he's going to be a little uncomfortable on the perch, and he's going to be more comfortable on Dom, right? So this may or may not work, but this is where training is really fluid, and we want to work through this without getting bit. So I'm going to try to go ahead and just push this out of the way a little bit more, and into a different environment. And if at any point you feel like he's going to step up, just go for it. But it's if you don't, then don't. Step up. Step up. So I would back off. So there's no... Does he step up for anybody else? No, oh, I've never tried it for anyone else. Oh. I live alone. Perfect, so. this is fun. <laughs> you should see if he'll come to you. Because he's way calmer with you. What do I have here? He doesn't, he doesn't really have enough food motivation. Do you have an almond or, or walnut? Buddies. Why don't you move him back to this center? Will you step back? No. So there's an interesting thing. You notice the first time I approach from behind, it gives me more time with a new bird to not get nailed. It's longer for him to reach back and there's more body movement for me to be able to see. And they're fully capable of stepping back. When I approach from the front, it's instant. They can just nail you. We do it with our own birds. We'll reach from, from the back to have them step back. I haven't really talked about it a whole lot before, but it's a great, you know, I've got the perch in the way. Come. Nope. See how much more time I have to get out of the way? So in stubborn situations, that's, that's a way you can start to try to troubleshoot through it. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the perch in that back room, um, just so he's not getting Ooh. constant reinforcement. That's right. <laughs> that is the best. You'd think that you would be so used to seeing that. Uh, not like that. I mean. Do we wanna shake hands, anybody, anybody? <laughs>